important tool in care tool that is here and you will continue are rebuild specify uh, especially these tools other tool are not very useful but i explain them fast rebuild is very important for example if you <clears throat> create a curvature a curve in your software for example like this i draw something very fast or you create a simple circle and for example the first benefit of this if you have a lots of control point or for example you can draw for example this with the two view for example in the y i create a curvature like this <clears throat> Oh, it's degrees not so good. Nice. Uh, for example, I want to um, use the curve from two view from this. You learned it in the previous lesson. And as you can see, we create a very high dense point of um, curve here. So we need to rebuild it. So we're holding Alt to uh, <coughs> uh, copy it and to compare it so first click rebuild it's very simple and easy as you can see in a rebuild window we have a point count you can change the point count here as you can see this number is the point count of the previous or original care and it's one to uh, change it to the lower number of the point as you can see the uh, yellow curve is the original curve and the dark is the curve that we want to compare co rebuild it as you can see we have a lots of uh, deformation and change so because of the point you can decrease or increase the uh, number of the point to make the rebuild shape close to the original shape for example, this is 200, we can uh, make it half. And as you can see, uh, we are closing to our original curve. So here you can change the um, destination points for you. And here is the interesting thing. You can change the degree if you want. Okay, you can change the degree if you want it. Uh, the degree three is nice. You know the degrees. You can refer to the previous lesson. I don't want to explain them. And delete input is important because you want to new and just okay and as you can see if you turn the control point we have nice and better uh, and rebuild care this is one example for, uh, to that or for example if you go into the top and here in the circle or you want to rebuild this <clears throat> or if you want to add more point instead of uh, decreasing the points for example i rebuild it and as you can see oh it's very high number it's eight and i want to make it this number four the degree of this <clears throat> is two and our rebuild curve is degree three we want to delete the input if you want to create a new object in a new layer here you can do it if you want to preserve the end tangent direction if you have a curve you can turn it off and make it subdivision friendly you can uh, refer to previous lessons i explained them what is subdivision and make friendly i don't want to explain in here previous lesson you can learn it <clears throat> and here we have an information about the spam the spam is degree plus one and it's a, it's like a, a space between two knots to edit curve control point. The maximum duration. It's all information. And hit OK. If you want to preview it, you can preview it. OK. And if you turn on the control point, and as you can see, we have more uh, control point here. And as you can see, this, this is a <clears throat> king here. 
But if you create it here, we have nice and a smooth curve. So this is one benefit of another benefit of rebuild. It. Another important benefit of rebuild is if you export your file DXF, for example, you select it and here go into the <clears throat> export selected to the DXF and you want to uh, export your DXF to laser cut CNC like this software. Some cases uh, your exporting is deformed. Because the, these softwares do not understand the topology curve of the Rhino and you have to rebuild this, okay? Don't forget. If you design a, for, for example, flower uh, or complex design <clears throat> and, and then export DXF and import in these softwares and in laser software uh, like this and you have, you wonder that, oh, my design is distorted. Don't forget to rebuild it here. So the really big rebuild is important. As you can see, we have a king here. You think it's just soft and smooth, but no, we have king there. After any, and as you can see, we have a lots of <clears throat> bad control point here, and you wanted to rebuild it. In this situation, you can change the points to better rebuild soft uh, curve here or you can reduce it, okay? It's very important. If you want to use these curves in Rhino and make 3D from them, it's not very important. But if you want to export your uh, <clears throat> DXF to other software, it's very important to rebuild. Another rebuild uh, tool is actually rebuild curve non-uniform. It is actually interactive. Uh, rebuild. If you click it, as you can see, we have a point here to drag and change the topology of the curve. Click, and then you can uh, come here and change the direction of the, your curve. As you can see, this is a seam uh, point that you know in a previous lesson. You can refer. As you can see, we have a slice different between original and uh, rebuild curve. This is an original curve. This is dark rebuild curve. Here we have another point to change the position of this topology. Uh, for example, bring it here. Or if you want to request a different tolerance for your curve, here you can define maximum point if you want to, for example, a lower number of the points. Oh, we have bad in this situation. Oh, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Uh, we need more points for uh, reaching the original curve for. And here is a qu uh, quarters. If you t click it in a yes, as you can see, we have more control point to change the curvature interactively. Here it's a light, uh, the white points. One, <clears throat> two, three, four. We have four control points. This is an interactively and it's okay and done. Or if you want to reset it, you can reset point in its settings. Another tool is a uh, refit care to the tolerance. If you click it, you can change the tolerance of your, um, <clears throat> change the tolerance of your care feeding to the specified tolerance. You can delete input, you can change the degree also here. Uh, and here is the angle tolerance is actually it's very complex, but if you have a kink in some <clears throat> curves, if you, uh, it, that, that degree is lower than this number, that uh, kink uh, point is smooth, make me smooth it. It's very complex. I don't want to explain. Here, change the degree. You can change the degree of your uh, <clears throat> curve. For example, here you can change your degree. Uh, this curve to, for example, degree three if you want it. Um, for example, <clears throat> I can draw this. This is a degree two. You know it. I explained it before. Here you can change the degree. You can deformable. Yes. You know, change the difference between deformable or no. Here we have, if you create a uh, <clears throat> point, we have we, here we have a deformable circle here. 
that looks like this. And okay, here you can change your change your degree to deformable and degree three, and it's done. So, so you actually like degree. You can do all of these tools in directly in a rebuild. <clears throat> Uh, this is an unfair curve. You can select it and uh, 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 it's actually uh, remove the large curvature in your uh, curve. That it's not very useful, but if you want it, you can change the tolerance and mm, remove a very large curvature in your curve. And Okay, that's it. The most useful tool here is Rebuild. And uh, of course use it. Hello my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.